Hello everyone, Alex R. C. Freak here. <laughs> Coming at you with another video on the Arma Creighton 8S, um, or the K8 as some people say. Um, anyway, but I took the front differential out, which is exactly the same way as taking the rear differential out, so I am not going to make a rear differential uh, removal video because it literally is exactly the same way. So you just got a rear wing. All you got is a rear wing mount that mounts to the back. It's the same way. So, like I say, if you guys have any questions, though, about it, please, I'm serious, please ask questions. I love it when people ask questions. Like, if you have a question about anything, I'll do my absolute best. And I'm not stating I know every single, any single thing about every RC car on the planet, because I don't. But I'll do my absolute best to help you guys out to the best of my ability, if that means anything. So, with that being said, we're going to tear this thing apart. So, what you got here is four... 2.5 millimeter by or 3.5 millimeter by 16 millimeters long stainless steel screws they're flat screw tapered screw flat head tapered screw 2.5 millimeter and uh allen on the top so i'm going to loosen those real quick and then we're going to take part the ring gear off the diff cup and we'll see how full they really are so hopefully you guys can see this very well i hope Okay, so I got the screws out. Now let me show you something here. This is how I had to take it out. I had to do a setup like this just to get enough leverage to take it out. Seriously, Horizon? You suck serious ass. I'm just going to say the facts. If you guys like it, if you fanboys like that, if you guys don't, you guess tough shit. That's how I'm going to say it. Look at this. They use Loctite on bare plastic. This is Loctite right here. It's kind of irritating. This is Loctite. Why would you use Loctite on a plastic part? Seriously, Horizon Hobby. Learn how to put RCs together to save your life. You can build them. Yeah, you can build a tough truck. But you definitely can't put them together to save your goddamn life out of the box. I just popped out. Yeah, sorry about that. So anyway, after that, yeah, sorry, my camera mount just decided to chuck the chuck the camera so anyway so let's open this up you gotta pull it straight up very carefully now look at that look at that literally no oil at all it's ridiculous ridiculous this is what i can't stand like seriously for like it's just irritating as hell now you can very carefully remove this gasket just work it around these pins that's all you need to do yeah just kind of come around it both sides kind of get around the front there Wedge it around the back and the front. There you go, just like that. There you go, just kind of gently, very, very gently work the gasket. Just like that. You get the gasket off, set the gasket down. And then uh, you can grab your top pin right there, your bottom pin. You can take needle nose pliers just like so, just like so. You can take it, grab it, and you can just make sure you get a good grip on it and just grab it, set that down like that. Do the same with that front there. Now, you cannot get this pin out without taking out this grub screw right there. So you got a 2.5 millimeter. It's just a little irritating that they do that and look at this like look at that hole and that thing see how it's all like messed up like quality control is a joke from horizon it, i genuinely mean that like their quality control is a bigger joke than their loctite and that's a straight up fact right there
take out that pin just like so hopefully you guys can see that really well and you just pop this out there's your drive clip there's your shim and o-ring And that's basically a disassembly. One thing I do like about these discs is I never wash these in solvent. You can, it wouldn't hurt them. I just don't, it's because they're small. So if you notice, it may be hard to see in this, but if you notice, this has like a bevel to it. See how it's like dished in? And see how this is dished out? This has like a dome kind of bevel on the back of this gear. So it fits in perfectly with this. It's a really nice design. I like that design. So these are all going to get cleaned in the parts. All these parts are going to get cleaned. And that's basically how you disassemble the diff. Now it goes together the exact same way. Um, literally the exact same way. So... And then you got your bearing right here. Yeah, sorry, my finger is in the way, but yeah, you got your bearing right there. And this is steel, press fit steel, which is nice, so it won't wear out. And it's pretty nice on the inside of there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See it? It's steel inside there. Looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna clean this in automobile parts solvent cleaner and clean that. I'm gonna clean all of this stuff. This front case half, I'm gonna clean that. Gonna take this drive gear off right here. Let's take it off like so. Just like that. Stick it at my clean parts. Um, use my little bent pliers. Pull that out like so, the pin. Push that out like that. Take that out. Washer. Set that there. Wash this ring gear and automobile parts solvent cleaner. Try saying that three times fast. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to clean all these parts. I'm going to clean the back uh, gears too also. Um, I just take a paper towel that's clean, or mostly clean, as clean as possible, and just wipe these off, like with a paper towel, just like so. Let's kind of roll them. Or you can use like a microfiber if you want. It's kind of like a clean microfiber. It doesn't have like metal shavings in it. But you just clean the pin like that and that, that works. I do that and it works just fine. Just fine. So that's kind of what I'll do to these cross pins here. Just because they're kind of small. And if you don't have a super fine, which I have a fine mesh screen on my parts washer. but um, So these will never like fall in there and get lost per se. But I just these never really I mean if they get bad enough like if you're doing a differential service let's say you've never did one you've ran the crap out of your RC or something you know what I'm saying and then you wanted to go through it and just make sure everything was right then yeah I you know you could wash them it would never hurt anything to do if anything it might be you know extra clean that way but I mean these are you know fucking brand new so but yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much a differential teardown in a nutshell. And you got a whole bunch. I know I'm using the rig. I just wiped the parts down with to wipe down the table. and It's not really going the best. But anywho. Yeah, so I need to get different camera mount. But that, that's basically the differential in a nutshell. And that's the rig. I may just wipe out this the grease. I don't know how well you guys can see that. there's a rig so i may just take this grease right here i'm definitely gonna get this grease right, uh, gone and i like how this is solid in the center it's not hollow like traxxas but put as less metal as they possibly can now this is actually cnc machined so which is nice it's not centered metal so centered centered metal is powdered metal molded into a form so this is actually cnc machined which I really don't know if I'm going to take that out or not. I'm, I probably will, knowing me, but I'll do that off camera. 
it, it's not that hard. You just take that little, this little snap ring behind. It's hard to see, but that little snap ring right there, that black ring. But yeah, see that little black ring right there? You just pop that off with the included tool and do it on um, the front. If you think about this though, how are you gonna get to the front without taking everything apart? So that's exactly what I mean. I may not just, I may not worry about taking it off because honestly, I'm kind of really not in the mood tonight to deal with that, honestly. So you could take brake cleaner though, a can of brake cleaner since this is really thin grease. Take a can of brake cleaner and clean all that out. Spray it out real good and it'll be just fine. Just make sure you use compressed air from an air compressor to really blow all the residue out. I know people are going to be like, well, brake like, right cleaner air dries. Yeah, that's true and all, but make sure you get all the residue out. Just saying, because you don't want that mixing with your new grease, whatever grease you're going to use. And you may be asking, hey, Alex, RC Freak, what grease do you like to use? I go to O'Reilly's Auto Parts, get the Master Pro High Temp Wheel Bearing Grease. I think it's like seven, eight bucks. Um, it works really good. So, or you can get the best grease they have there too for wheel bearing all purpose grease. And I use that and it works really slick. But, uh, anyway, that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Sorry, the camera fell off the mount. So forgive me for that. But anyway, with that being said, Alex RC freak out. Peace.